Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use the split view for your iPad application. So um, first we open up our Xcode, create a new project and choose empty application. Then click next and for this um, the device make sure to select the iPad and the product name I'm just gonna call it split view tutorial and just click next to create our project and I'm going to create my project on the desktop and all right okay all right kind of slow all right so um I'm gonna create uh, two two different classes. So this, I'm gonna show you how to use the split view with the with the interface builder with the zips instead of storyboard. So here, just um, create a new file. I'm gonna call this file the master view controller. So choose Objective C class, select next, and it'll be a subclass of UI view controller. Uh, actually, let's make it a subclass of UI table view controller, the master view. So I'm just going to call this the master view controller and select um, targeted for iPad and select with zip for user interface. So it's going to give you the XIB file, the zip file to go with your class. Click next and create. Uh, okay, so there it is. All right, so that's pretty big. So let's um let I'm just gonna resize the the width. So to select your um your size inspector. Okay, okay. Make sure your table view is selected. Select your size inspector and uh, width instead of 768. I'm just gonna make it 300. Okay, and I'm gonna save it. And in our master view controller dot h, um, in our master view controller dot h, we're we're not gonna do we're not gonna do anything in here. But in our master view controller dot m, well, let's create a different class first. Let me move. I'm gonna move all these files out out here to the split view tutorial. And then I'm gonna create one more file, which is gonna be the detail. It's gonna be the right right part of the split view. And so the detail. Detail view is gonna be is gonna be a subclass of a of a UI controller, UI view controller. So class, I'm just gonna call it detail view controller, and it's gonna be a subclass of UI view controller. And do the same thing. Select the targeted for iPad, and select with zip for user interface. Then click next and create so that creates our detail view controller and from there in our detail view controller um, zip file I'm just gonna I'm also gonna res resize it a little bit actually I'm just gonna leave the size and I'm gonna add a label going to add the label right here okay and from there our detail view controller I'm gonna have um, only one property which is this label this is gonna be the display of whatever um, item was selected in the master view controller all right, so here's our master and detail view, but um, I haven't made any connections yet. So let's make this one for the detail view controller. So select our assistant editor while we're in the detail view controller. 
control click and drag it onto our detail view controller.h and I'm just gonna call this one um, display type UI label connection outlet storage is weak okay and um, this one is you also need this part at the end uh, UI oops UI split view controller delegate that's what you need and um, that's it for our detail view controller um, dot H but we're gonna let's look at our app delegate first so in our app delegate dot H we're gonna need to import the master and the detail um, view controller so do import master view controller dot H and import detail view controller dot H and um, and in the did finish launching with options a method it already has a few lines of code already in there so I'm just gonna do this part where it says over override point for customization after application launch so I'm just gonna create a uh, master view controller I'm gonna call it master VC equals master view controller Alec in it and I'm so oops let me um, hide the assistant editor so we see more room okay and I'm also gonna create a detail view controller I'm gonna call this detail VC equals detail view controller Alec in it and then from there, I'm also going to create a, a pointer to an instance of UI split view controller. I'm just going to call this split VC equals UI split view controller Alec init. Okay. And we're going to set our split view controller so, which, so it knows which one is the master and which one is the detail. So split VC set view controllers and then it's gonna take an NS array so do NS array array with objects with the S because it has two it has the master master VC and a detail VC okay so that's that and then we need to um, we need to set the root view controller. So do self window set root view controller and it's gonna take a UI view controller. So this one will be the, our split VC. So we make the split view controller our root view controller. So that's that for the app delegate. And now let's take a look at the master view controller dot M. So our master view controller dot h we don't have anything we already um it's master view controller is a subclass of UI table view controller so we don't need to like type the brackets here at the end saying like table view delegate the table view data source because those methods are already implemented for us in the master view controller dot m since it's a master view controller is a subclass of table view controller so you see that like these methods that we normally have to um, type in ourselves uh, like number of sections in table view number of rows in sections so for that index path is already um, kind of like uh, started for us so we just need we still need to implement those methods though all right so now let's um, start configuring the the master view controller dot m so right here, I'm just gonna create two instance variable, and it's mutable array. I'm just gonna call it array of items, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna import. We can either do this in dot h or dot m. I'm gonna do it in dot h. So master view controller dot h. I'm gonna import the detail view controller dot h. Okay. And now I can create an instance variable of detail view controller. I'm going to call this detail VC. All right, so I have two instance variables in the master view controller.m. 
and we don't need to do anything with these two methods and uh, we do need to do something with view did load so let me delete all those um, all those comments and then so I'm just gonna have detail VC equals detail view controller Alec in it and then array of items I'm gonna create my array right here so NS mutable array Alec in it so here we Alec and initialize our array and then um, let's set our array with like uh, with with strings so let's do for int i equals zero i less than 25 so we're gonna have 25 um the array is gonna hold 25 strings and increment our increment i and do array of items add object and object is gonna be string so let's do in a string string with format and then it's gonna let's just have it say item and uh, percent d and which is gonna be our um, i right here percent d is the integer so i is this integer so each of the items is gonna be like item zero item one item two whatever the i is it'll be that item so all those 25 um all those 25 strings that says item 0 through item 24 will be stored in um, I array array of items all right so did receive memory warning we leave that one alone and um, number of sections in table view so there's only going to be one section let me delete that little uh, pragma mark and then uh, number of rows and sections so instead of zero I'm just gonna say return array of items count so it will return how many uh, however many item is in the array of items so in the number of, in, of sections in table view I changed it to one and number of rows in section I changed it to array of items count and in our cell for row at index path that's where we um, that's where we determine what's going to be shown on our cells so everything is most of the thing is already configured for us but we just need to um here it says configure the cell so let's configure the cell to um to show our uh, to show our strings in the array of items so let's just do cell text label Set text and the text will be array of items object that index and it's passed in uh, index path so let's do index path so okay all right so uh, let me do this in the dot notation it looks a little bit um a little bit easier to understand so so dot text label dot text oops cell dot text label dot text equals array of items object that index 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 path dot row okay so those two are equivalent um Yes, I don't need this. All right. Yeah, so these two lines are equivalent. So this line is a little clearer to read, but if you want to keep the notations consistent, because um, the whole time I've been using the bracket notations, then you can use the top one. All right, so that's all we need for our self row at index path. And... Um, we also need to do something with our did select row at index path. So what we what we, what we want to happen is when you select something from the table view, I want it to show up on the on the detail view controller. 
But um, I haven't done anything with the detail view controller yet, so um, we'll get back to this method after I do something with the detail view controller. All right. So in our detail view controller, we already made our connection. Okay, so we already made our connection display. So I guess we can do something here now. All right. So I'm just gonna. So I'm just gonna say um, detail VC. Oops. Detail VC equals self split view controller view controllers object that index and object that index one and then we do detail VC display which is our which is our label set text and the text that we're going to display in our detail view is array of items object at index and it takes an index path dot row all right so in our did select row at index path uh, it passes in an index path so in our detail view which is the right side of the split view i wanted to show whatever um i whatever whatever row was selected in the master view. So it's going to show that in our detail view. So that's what these two lines of codes are doing. And then in our detail view controller, do we need to do anything? I don't think we need to do anything in our detail view controller. So let me change this background. Change the background of the detail view controller to be Let's make it yellow. All right. Um, I think that's that's it. Let's uh, let's try to run it on our I iPad 6.0 simulator and see if it comes out or if something needs to be fixed. Taking a while to launch. Okay, all right, so this is um, the iPad in the portrait, por in the portrait orientation, so it doesn't show up. So I shift this to the landscape orientation, and then these things show up. So let me select item zero. And then here you see that it shows item zero. Here it shows item one, item two, item three, item four, item five. So whatever item I select it, all the way to 24 then it shows up in in our in our label so that's seems to be working fine and if i if i rotate the device again i just go device i mean hardware rotate left so here i rotate it back to the portrait orientation and the master view goes away this shows the detail view and if I do another rotate, rotate right, it goes back to the to the landscape orientation. And again, I can change. Um, I can select the different items in the master view controller, which is this right here. And in our detail view controller in the label, it changes to whatever item I've selected in the in the master view so you probably might have seen this in like an email if you read your email or um, yeah so in a, a lot of apps um, do this kind of thing so that is I think that's gonna be it for this tutorial um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time thanks bye